Hello everyone, welcome to Medigac. Today we are going to discuss about henoch schonlin purpura or HSP. This occurs when vasculitis occurs in childhood. This disease is characterized by deposition of IgA antibody in the small blood vessels of skin, joint, kidney, and gastrointestinal tract. Now we are going to discuss about the clinical features of henoch schonlin purpura. Most common clinical feature is vasculitis. This is vasculitis in the ear blood vessels. This is vasculitis in the leg blood vessels. Other clinical features, number two is skin lesions in which we can see periorbital edema, edema in dorsum of hands and feet, scrotum and sometimes scalp also. Musculoskeletal manifestations, these are arthritis and arthralgia. Gastrointestinal manifestations, like abdominal pain, vomiting, diarrhea, paralytic ileum, salina, intussusception and mesenteric ischemia or perforation. 5. Renal system involvement. These are hypertension, hematuria, proteinuria, nephrotic syndrome, frank nephritis, frank nephritis, and ultimately acute, chronic renal failure. 6. CNS system involvement, seizures, headaches, intracerebral hemorrhage, orchitis, carditis, inflammatory eye disease, testicular torsion and pulmonary hemorrhage. Now come to pathophysiology of henoch schonlin purpura. Most commonly caused by upper respiratory tract infections which includes group A streptococcus infection. Then IgA antibody starts acting upon the infective organisms. Then IgA antibody starts to deposit in various organs of the body. Like in skin, joints, kidney and GI tract. Now let's learn how to diagnose HSP. This can be diagnosed by 1. Clinical diagnosis, 2. Lab diagnosis, A. Clinical diagnosis, the clinical diagnosis mainly based on edema and palpable purpura. The patient may present with 1. Fever 2. Palpable purpura 3. Edema of face, hands, feet, scrotum. AHE that is acute hemorrhagic edema as an isolated leukocytoclastic vasculitis which affects infants. A. Lab diagnosis. This can be diagnosed by the normal and abnormal values like 1. Increased ESR. 2. Increased CRP. 3. Mild anemia. 4. Leukocytosis. 5. Thrombocytosis. 6. Occult blood is frequently found in the stool specimen. Now let's learn about the treatment of HSP. As the disease is due to activity of the immune system, so the drug of choice is corticosteroids which will suppress the immune response. Prednisolone 1 mg per kilogram per day for 1 to 2 weeks followed by tapper. In case of chronic HSP with renal disease, we can use a variety of immunosuppressants like azathioprine, cyclophosphamide, and mycophenolate mofetil.